Hello Libra. So this is the reading that I got for you guys for the first two weeks of December. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the Romance Angel first. Universe, give me a four card spread. What's going on with Libra's love life for December? December the 5th to the 15th, 2020. Right? So I got separation and let your friends help you. Okay, so I feel like you, your friends are encouraging you to disconnect with somebody. Okay, some of you guys are breaking up with friends. Okay, universe, give me, give me my cards. What's going on with Libra's love life? Okay, so I got honeymoon and finances and career. Okay, so that's interesting. So. Some of you guys are getting out of a connection, but you're meeting someone else, and this person probably work in the same career as you, same industry, or the same workplace, or this is somebody who's really about their business, they're like very independent, but at the same time, they want to treat you, they want to wine and dine you very well, okay? You guys are probably planning a trip together, that's what I'm getting to. You know what giving to my cards? Um, what's going on with Libra's love life? December the 5th? Okay, so I keep getting two cards all the time. So this person is probably very close to you because two usually represent union. So I got soulmates and you deserve love. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody who you can really count on, dependable. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Universe, give me my card. What's going on when we just love five? Yeah, reconciliation. Now, this can go two ways. I feel like the reconciliation could be like with this experience where probably you guys live far or probably you guys haven't been connecting so much because of busy work schedule or whatever. And you guys are reconciling. Um, it's feeling like a reconciliation. Um, probably this is your past life person as well. Now, another way I'm getting this is that with a reconciliation, probably there is somebody from your past who do want to reconcile, but you already have moved on with the honeymoon. Okay. Um, then I got getting to know each other. Yeah. So I feel like a lot of you guys are connecting with somebody else that's not from your past rather okay but the past is still there they still want to reconcile with you so the signs i'm getting almost every sign but the most heavy sign i'm getting i'm getting earth and air so taurus bird capricorn libra Aquarius, gemini okay so universe give me a five card spread what's going on with the universe give me a five card spread what's going on with Lisa sub live december the 5th to the 15th let me see what card is that. So I got the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. So I feel like, yeah, you like money's looking good. But at the same time, I feel like you're connecting with somebody who's really about their business. Like they're very financially stable. Okay. Universe, give me four more cards. What's going on with Libra's love life? Seven of Swords in the verse. Okay. Let me get some more cards. <laughs> Universe, give me three more cards. What's going on with Libra's Love Life? December the 5th to the 15th. Okay. So, it came out like this. Nine of Cups in the verse. Ooh, okay. Okay, it's giving me two. Okay. It's kind of like, I don't want to say too much because I haven't, I'm not done with the spread yet. But what I'm getting, I'm getting two messages. The first one is some of you guys are avoiding this person. Okay, because you feel like it's going to lead to a disappointment because of what you experienced from your past. So it's kind of like you have PTSD when it comes to love. Okay. Another way this can go is that somebody's trying to offer you something real and stable, but you felt like you felt disappointed by them before. Okay. And this could be a newer connection as well. This could be a past one. Universe, give me two more cards. What's going on with Libra's love life? December the 5th to the 15th, 2020. Universe, give me two more cards. What's going on with Libra's love life? December the 5th to the 15th, 2020. Two of Swords and High Friend of Verse. Yeah, I feel like you are avoiding somebody who wants to now commit to you, okay? Some of you guys, it's a, it's a newer connection. You just, right now, you are not too sure that you should, you know, put yourself completely with an, another person, okay? Like, completely be vulnerable, completely be committed to another person, some of you guys is a past, okay? Universe, give me... It could be both, too, with the two of swords being there. Universe, give me one more card. What's going on with Libra's love life? December the 5th. Three wands in the verse. Yeah, so I'm seeing you're not going to make a decision. This does represent your energy. 
um, Libra and this represent indecision. So you guys are not going to make a decision yet, but I do see somebody offering commitment and stability. I'm seeing you being avoidant. Okay. Universe clarify the page of pentacles in reverse. Universe clarify the page of pentacles in reverse. So I got the six of swords in reverse and the ten of cups in reverse. So this is with the past. Okay. Somebody's coming back to you, but it's somebody who you don't have happy memories with. You don't see a long-term future with them. Okay. This person could be a Pisces, a Virgo. Universe, clarify. Universe, clarify. Universe, clarify that they want to universe. 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 The Queen of Pentacles, okay? So, yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys, again, may be focusing on your career, okay? Habitly and your goals and aspirations. And it's reaping, you're reaping benefits from that, okay? Like, I feel like you are going to hit a milestone in your career, in your education. Universe, clarify the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Swords in reverse, okay? Yeah, I feel like you guys, a lot, a lot of you guys are focused on yourself. But at the same time, somebody is, they don't really like that you're focused on yourself, okay? So this is somebody who could be controlling or kind of jealous. Universe, clarify the King of Swords in reverse, Universe, clarify the King of Swords in reverse. Page of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this is someone who probably don't have the purest intention. Universe, clarify the Hierophant in reverse and the Two of Swords. Universe, okay. So I got this, a Magician in reverse. Yeah, so somebody's ma trying to manifest you to commit to them. A lot of you guys are not going to make that decision yet. Universe, clarify the Magician in reverse. Universe, clarify the Magician in reverse. Two of Wands in reverse. Yeah, so this can be relating to somebody who did you wrong before because you really don't see a future. So it could be two people who want to commit to you. Right now, you're just not making a decision of who you want to choose or who you, like, if you actually going to commit to either, okay? Universe, can I find Nine of Cups in reverse? So I got the Four of Swords in reverse, the King of Wands, and the Seven of Cups in reverse, okay? Yeah, so definitely somebody from your past is coming back. They're trying to say that they're 100% confident and sure that you are the one. But you guys are not feeling it, okay? Universe, clarify the seven swords in reverse. 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 Okay, so I got the devil, the nine of swords in reverse, and the seven of wands in reverse. So this person is obsessively trying to get you back. Um, yeah, but you don't have the energy to even entertain it. Universe, clarify the Ace of Pentacles. You rather focus your energy back to yourself, okay? Universe, clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Universe, clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so I got the Three Cups, okay? Yeah, it's someone from your past, most definitely. Universe, clarify the Three of Cups. Uh, the Queen of Cups in reverse, I want to come out. You don't have emotions for this person no more, or this is somebody who puts you through, like, an emotional roller coaster. Universe, clarify the Three Cups. Universe, clarify right, three cups. Universe, clarify right, three cups. The so five of cups in reverse. Yeah, you got over them. Wow. <laughs> you got over them. Like, the message is clear. Um, you don't have feelings for them no more. They're coming back to you, but you, you're you over them, okay? This person could be any sign. I got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I got also Aries and Gemini. I got Taurus, too, okay? So, Universe, we have four cards spread. What messages you got for Libras pertaining to their love lives? December the 5th to 15, 2020. Universe, give me a five card spread. What's going on? What messages you got for Libras for December the 5th? Okay, so oops. I got keys on a ring, okay? And I also got paradise, okay? Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other, okay? So, again, some of you guys are connecting with somebody else and you're more happier with them, okay? I mean, more happy with them. And then I got keys on the ring, many options, decision, unconventional, string along when I stand. Some of you guys are, still, again, indecisive of who you want to be with completely. Um, and it was showing that you guys are probably not going to make a decision just yet. Universe, give me three more cards. What's going on with Libra's love life? December the 5th to the 15th, 2020. So I got love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love um thinking of you letting you know so yeah i feel like it's both past and new but the past is going to go overboard okay <laughs> universe give me two more cards what messages you got for libras pertaining to the love by december the 5th to the 15 2020 
Nebraska. Okay, so I got Twin Flames, okay. Yin Yang, Zen Balance, Union Duality, Coupling, Complement Each Other. So yeah, I feel like... I feel like the twin flame is more associated with the past, okay? I'm not saying your past is a twin flame. For me, I'm one of those YouTube tarot readers. I don't believe twin flame is that common. It's very, very rare, okay? Um, I believe there's more karmic relationships, so you probably have more than one karmic relationship. But for me, twin flames are very rare connection. So I'm not saying your past is a twin flame. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, like, probably the feeling it bring you the feelings of what you would put as a characteristics of a twin flame, okay? Universe, give me one more card. What what messages do you got for Libras pertaining to their love life? December the 5th to the 15th, 2020. Give me one more card. So I got a karmic relationship, yep. <laughs> so yeah, some of you guys probably thought the past was a twin flame, but in reality it's a karmic relationship. And a lot of people get this confused. Usually you're in a karmic relationship than a twin flame, okay? Um, I got fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and let, and, and loving you. Okay. So yeah, I feel like now this person does regret losing you. Um, but at the same time, I don't feel like they 100% evolve. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, I got ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Yeah. So I feel like right now, this is your energy right now. You are ready to be with your right person. Some of you guys are already connecting with a better person for you, a better soulmate. <laughs> okay. Because some soulmates are not 100% positive, okay? And those are usually associated with the karmics. Um, they're there to just teach you a lesson. Once you get the lesson, you out with them. Hey, right, universe, give me a four-card spread. What messages you got for Libras pertaining to your love life? December the 5th to the 15th, 2020. Universe, give me a four-card spread. So I got partnership and alliances. Yep, so you guys are definitely going to be in a relationship. We keep showing that. I believe I got it for your general monthly. Never give me through my cards. Oh, what card is that? Let me see what card is that. Okay. So I got choose wisely. Yeah, you got options, Libra. You do. You got a past person and a new person. Universe, give me to my cards. What messages do you have for Libras to me to love life? Hope. Yep. You have a connection that is going to make you believe in love again. Universe, give me my card. I got two cards. Yeah, so I got um, material and spiritual prosperity and universe. So yeah, I feel like the universe is blessing you with somebody, again, who is financially stable. Again, and I feel like your career, your life is going to become more stable, okay? I'm getting by two years from now. So by 2022, I feel like you're really going to reach a stability in your life. Whatever you've been struggling the most, I feel like by 2022, you're going to reach like that big stability, okay? And that got new beginnings. Yeah. This is beautiful. I love this energy. Ooh, okay. This is dope. And I and a lot of signs been getting some good positive messages and it's like progression and learning and expanding. And it makes sense because we're about to enter a lot of Aquarian energy, like Jupiter is about to be in Aquarius. Um, Pluto will be in Aquarius in 2024, which is kind of war. Um, but Saturn is going to be in Aquarius by the end of this year, I believe. So Aquarius is about change and it's about bringing water to people, evolving and transforming. So I feel like a lot of people are going to get to this um, pathway. And same with technology. I feel like this is a tangent, off on a tangent, but te the technology is going to ex explode even more. Um, because of the energy of Aquarius and it's gonna be a lot of even more interesting things that's gonna happen But at the same time, it's gonna be positive. Okay, it's gonna force people to work together and become humanitarians to each other Okay, that was such an off-topic message, but I felt like I need to say it. So I'm gonna say it <laughs> Okay um, So some of you guys might be done with Aquarius as well. Okay All right, so universe, give me a three card spread. What messages do you have for Libras? For okay, so I got new moon and Gemini. Com communication is key. Okay, so you might be communicating with both the past and a new person. Okay, but again, it's showing that you're not going to make a final decision just yet. Universe, give me two more cards. What messages do you have for Libras pertaining to their love life? Okay, so I got first quarter moon. Your commitment is being tested. And then I also got um, Waning Moon, what do you need to release? 
And I also got your energy, you moon and Libra, a new romantic cycle begins. Yeah, I feel like you're already in a new connection or you're preparing to be in a new connection. And you are going to release somebody from your past, okay? And they're going to feel like, oh, you're not being loyal. They thought you was always going to be down for them, whatever. But that's not the case. This person was kind of blocking your progression in life. Universe, give me one more card. What much does you have for Libras? Ooh, I got Leo energy. Full moon and Leo. Don't let pride um, get in your way. Um, so some of you guys might be releasing a Leo, okay? But with this, is like not letting ego consume you, okay? Sometimes, like, ego does that. And it could it can, like, actually be harmful, okay? Some, some of you guys really thought, like, love is not real or you can never experience love. And that was basically making you feel worse or just making you be sidetracked with your life path. Um, it could also be like with success, like probably a lot of you guys was afraid of success and you just had those type of mindset and it was kind of blocking you. But I feel like the universe is kind of helping you de-block yourself, okay? And I also got full moon in Pisces, um, balanced spirituality and practicality. So yeah, the universe is wanting you to um, ground yourself with both, being spiritual and being practical, okay? So you can manifest exactly what you want in your life. Right, universe, give me a four card spread. What much does you got for Libras pertaining to their love life? December the fifth. So I got no. Universe, give me through my cards. What much does you got for Libras? So I also got a year from now. Universe, give me my cards. It's gonna come out too. Choose a new direction. Universe, okay, I got a lot of cards. I really, I really want to come out. So I got big happy changes, improving health, unlikely, and success. So I feel like success is going to happen. But again, it's like you have to change your mindset. You have to change your mental paradigm. So it can be able to, so you can be able to receive it, okay? And not the right time. So that's what I was getting. I feel like things are going to be developing. It may take a little longer, okay? But I feel like your life is about to change. You, you're done closing certain chapters in your life and you're ready for this new beginning. It may take a little while. But it's going to happen. Some of you guys, it's going to happen by the end of next year. Some of you guys, it's going to happen by 2022. But I feel like within the two years, there's going to be major transformation and positive growth um, in your life, okay? And whatever part of your life was struggling the most, okay? Universe, give me two cards, but what much does you have for Libras for December the 5th to the 15th, 2020? So I got uniquely myself. I trust that who I am is a per is perfect for my unique journey and soul path. So yeah, the universe is trying to say, continue to be you. Don't feel like you need to change um, for other people. Change for yourself, but not for other people. Um, now you can take criticisms, but don't change negatively just to please people, basically. Universe, give me more card. What messages do you have for Libras um, pertaining to, um, well, what messages do you have for Libras for December? Okay, so I got embrace my body. I honor and embrace all my body. I'm receptive to her sick needs, okay? So the universe is asking you to definitely take care of your body, attend to your body, listen to your body, okay? Some of you guys feel like you was really busy, but right now the universe wants you to attend to your body, okay? Honor your body. And I got love-based reality. I'm so nurtured when I surround myself with friends and family who support a love-based reality. So some of you guys do have to release people who are toxic, who is kind of like um, undermining your success, undermining your progress in life, okay? The universe is trying to say, release yourself from that person, love them from afar, but don't continue to be attached to their energy so you don't feel blocked, okay? So that's the messages that I got for you, Libra. Thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If this video resonates, you can definitely book a personal reading with me at queenfortheterror at gmail.com.